Glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. It's still early in the season, but a lot can be learned from early matchups in conference play. Time to take you out to the Pac-12. Thanks for checking out the pregame show, NCAA College Football Action, coming up next with Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I will see you at halftime. city in the entire country. Los Angeles, California, the site for our game today. And now it's time for the coin toss, and it's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Thomas has the ball set how he wants it. And we're just about ready to kick this game off, folks. He just drills this one. Across the 30. He gets hit out of bounds around the 45-yard line. Hey, that's a pretty good return there to open this game up. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Tackled after a decent pickup. Good run by the quarterback. The thing that impresses me is the decision-making. He sees an opening, decides to turn it upfield, and gets a nice gain and a first down. Makes the catch and look out. Tackle at the 30. That makes it first and 10. Throws it away. It's second and ten. Ball on the 30. Over the middle to his tailback. He's tackled at the 33-yard line. Three-yard loss there. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. down and they need to get it down to the 20. One of the top stadiums in the nation. This crowd comes to play themselves. Let's it go. The defender had it and then dropped it. Smart, heady play by that defender. That was solid, fundamental pass defense. Whitaker is the deep man awaiting the return. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. USC's offense really centered around this quarterback, and as he goes, the team seems to go, Kirk. Brad, over the weeks, I've been watching him on film, and one thing I've seen is his ability to make good decisions. I mean, time after time, he just avoids the mistakes, and when you can do that as a quarterback and as a leader of an offense, you're going to move the football down the field. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the court. Fumble. Defense says they've got it, and they do. Oh, 
What do you think about that last turnover, Kirk? Way to be heads up out there. That corner just made one heck of a play recovering that fumble. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. And down he goes at the nine. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. And the ball bounces out of bounds. From the 11-yard line, third down. Listen to this place. Zips it to the back. Brought down at the five-yard line. Five, maybe six on that screen pass. It's a well-designed play to the halfback, and it worked at least to get them a medium gain on the play. Oregon could take the lead with this field goal. Kicks away, and it splits the uprights. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding them to a field goal right there. Hamilton looks ready to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 24-yard line. This offense was infected by the turnover bug there last time out. Let's see if they can hold on to the ball here. Anytime you give the ball away, it's a disappointment. So these guys want to show that they can hang on to it. Nice run there. Scott gets seven yards on the play. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. They go to the left for a nice game. So the tailback's going to come away with a first down on the play. He knew where he had to go to get the first down, and he got there. Nice run. It's a nice job by the quarterback reading the coverage and delivering a very catchable ball and allowing his receiver to come up with a nice game. It's second down now. They're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Get to that quickly. He's tackled in the open field. From the 40 yard line, it's first down. Great tackle at the 32-yard line. Around an eight-yard pickup on the slant route from the quarterback. Well, the receiver does a nice job on his route. And how about the throw by the quarterback? Perfect execution. But when those two things are going well, the offense has a good chance of picking up big yards. And it's caught. And they push him out around the 12-yard line. If you're the defense, who do you try to cover this guy with? He's too fast for most linebackers. He's too big for most corners. You have to rely on your safeties, who generally aren't very good in one-on-one -on -one coverage. This is the eighth play of this drive.
fires that quickly incomplete. That makes it second and ten. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 12. Play fake and looking to run. Diving for extra yardage. This is the 10th play of this drive. Both offenses trying to find their rhythm in that first quarter. Low scoring and close right now. The Ducks lead 3-0. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. Fourth down. This should be an easy field goal. USC is looking to tie things up. It's up, and they tack on three points. Thomas has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. The 50, room around the corner. At the 30, to the 20, the 10. And they're going to bring this one all the way back. Touchdown! Wait a second. They put the points on the board, but they might have to take them down. So they'll move back after that costly penalty, and they'll have to try to get that yardage back here. They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. Ready! Check, check! Ball takes it right side. And he's taken down at the 15-yard line. He's got room. He's pushed out of bounds around the 33-yard line. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. Quick throw. He's taken down right around the 36-yard line. Runs right for a nice game. Really one of the very tough places to play in college football, and it's no different today. He might have a chance. Makes it out to about the 50. And for Hall, he may have been seriously injured on that play. From the 50. First down. Good outside run there. He's at the 30, and he's tackled at the 14-yard line. That's good for the yards. That makes it first and 10. They're running it. Hey, check that. Seven, check that. Up the middle for a nice game. That brings it up to the 
Ravens in second and five. Here's an opening. Touchdown, Oregon. And he adds the extra point. A nine play, 85 yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. So our score, 10-3. The Ducks running back taken out earlier, sideline without injury. However, it looks like he's going to be able to come back in this game. Scott from the two. They'll bring him down at the 24. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. their own 24-yard line. Second down. Crosses out to the tailback on the screen. Knocked out of bounds at the 35-yard line. From their own 35 yard line. First down. Watch 85, ball code 85, watch 85. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That'll make it second and four. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Hey, check Mike 34. Mike 34. Throws it out and it falls incomplete. So it's third down now and they're going to need about four. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Throws a laser across the middle. They'll bring him down around the 50 yard line. He's going to try and scramble. And they make the stop at the 37. From the 37-yard line, it's first down. And this play is number eight on the drive. Four down, four down. Hey, well, Mike, Mike 34, Mike 34. Let's go. Check, check. Eagle. Tackle made around the 31 yard line. Third down. They're about four yards away here on third down. At the 30 yard line. That's what we're going to do. Fourth down. Right and left, right and left. Four down, four down. Check 13. Check Ready. 13. Green 88. Green 88. Two, two, two. Here comes the pressure. Big stop by the defense. I think we saw the effects of what a long drive can do to a defense the last time this offense was out on the field. 
They took that football and broke the length of the field to put points up on the board. And I think it really started to affect not only just the, the psyche of this defense, but maybe even the conditioning when they start to get a little bit fatigued. That makes it second and ten. It's second and ten. Ball on their own 30. And we'll probably see how far he can throw it as it should be the last play before the half. He's going to go for the home run. Got it to the senior. He's tackled right around the 16-yard line. We've played a half of football. Oregon leads 10-3. David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. He's to the 20. Makes it out to maybe the 19-yard line. Can this defense play any better? I mean, these guys have a great tradition. They live up to the billing today. Now we're starting to see whether or not this team can get it done. And if they are, then I think the defense should go down to the offensive side of the field, talk to their own offense, and try to get them fired up to go out there and get some more points on the board. And he hits him hard at the 28. Short yardage situation here. Second down and one. Makes it out to about the 39. scrambling and down he goes at the 40 that makes it second and ten second and ten ball on their own 40 quick pass tight end and he wasn't ready for it Woods, he's intended to see the play. play. That, that brings, brings up third and ten. Larry, Larry. Speed it up. Mike 34, Mike 34. Scoop, scoop, scoop. He chucks it downfield. And it's caught. What a play, and that'll set up a first and goal. down and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Nice run up the middle. That brings up second and goal. will be tied with the extra point. And he converts the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You don't want to squander any possessions, but maybe now's the right time to dip into your bag of tricks a little. Think about some gadget plays to catch the defense napping. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. And 
they get him in the backfield for a loss. That's a two-yard loss. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. Third and 11. Ball on 24. This crowd can really be intimidating for an opposing team. Man, watch out here. Brought down at the 33 yard line. That'll make it fourth and two. Bright is waiting for the snap. He's tackled at the 39 yard line. Now's when you start to approach each drive, thinking that if you take the lead, then the momentum you gain feels that much more powerful. Run, 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 run. Has some daylight. He makes his way to about the 45. And 10. Ball on the 45-yard line. And he is drilled at the 28-yard line. Sometimes a play is not going to work for whatever reason. Doesn't mean you throw the play away. You just need to execute better next time. Second down, about 12 yards to go. Ball on the 31-yard line. Fires up to his receiver, and he's taken down right around the 24-yard line. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 18. Catches it, and he's looking for more. He's taken down right around the 18-yard line. the 18 yard line first down tackle after a decent run up the gut to about the 11-yard line. That's a game and two on the play. So with one quarter remaining, this one's all even at 10. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. here early in the quarter and in a tie game now let's see if their offense can come to life they're going to go for the easy three here kicks away and it sails through the uprights Thomas 
Ready to kick. It's fielded at the two. And he's tackled at the 29-yard line. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. He's to the 40. Makes it to the 47. And he's tackled at about the 41. How about the big fellas up front? This line will have to continue to play like that to build the consistency to help this offense be effective. And now he's got room to run. Gains his way to the 30-yard line. Got a man tackled for a loss. That makes it second. It's second down now, 14 to go. Ball on the 35. He's under pressure. Well, I love the toughness here by this quarterback of sitting in into the last second, trying to make a play downfield, only to have this defense get to him. He's got to do a better job maybe feeling things out a little bit, but at least he has the awareness and a toughness to sit in that pocket. He's hit and taken down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 11-yard line. He has some room. Decent run here, right side. That's a game of seven. That'll bring up second and two. Touchdown, and they take the lead. This back has great vision, which allows him to make runs like this one we just saw. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He's to the 20, and down he goes at the 25-yard line. Boy, this has been a fun game to watch, going back and forth and back and forth. It's almost like watching a tennis match here. Whoever has the ball last, my guess, will be the team that wins it. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. They'll bring him down right around the 28-yard line. From their own 28-yard line, second down, just under three to go in regulation. They bring the quarterback down. That is a loss of seven on the play. That'll make it third and 13. To get back in this game here in the fourth, this third and goal is vital. Okay. Well, Mike, Mike 34, Mike 34. Ready, huh? 
Here's a screen pass. Gets it to the back. He's knocked out of bounds. Around the 28-yard line. That's good for a gain of seven yards. Fourth down. Duck it. Back to return it. And he just got stood up right there. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Pops free. Recovered by the offense. Good thing they got the ball back. That fumble could have really cost them. It would have been a huge momentum swing if the defense had recovered that. From their own 46-yard line. It's second down. He's at the 40. And they finally bring him down at the 21-yard line. What a critical first down as time ticks away. Huge, huge first down. The defense desperately needed a stop there. Makes it to the 11. I think the defense is starting to be concerned about the outcome of this game. That was a huge first down by the offense, and at this point, you wonder if the defense can make a play to get their own offense back out on the field. Oregon is up four. Hands it off. And they make the stop at the 10. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 10. And they'll get him in the backfield. You expect this every time you're here, and you're never disappointed. This crowd is amazing. Short over the middle. Just a tremendous job by that defense, and their coordinator did a super job there to keep it this close in this ball game. and now the offense has got a chance to win it. Fourth down. This isn't much more than an extra point. The kick is up, and it is good. They're lined up to kick, and they might just kick it short and prevent a long return. Whitaker from the two. Across the 30. And they push him out at the 46-yard line. Even in a game this close, I think it's going to take something very unexpected to change the outcome. But that doesn't mean it won't happen. Well, you never know what can happen in college football, so I wouldn't be surprised by anything here. Either way, it should be exciting. He heaves it deep. He's got a touchdown.
Looks like they didn't get the playoff quick enough. point to be had then this is it to go to overtime just to get them to think a little more about it they're going to call a timeout and this is the biggest extra point that this young man will ever have to kick in his life this for overtime we're going to ot that's the end of the fourth quarter and we are headed to overtime Well, we played an hour, and it's still not enough. We're set to kick off here in overtime. And down he goes at the 17. Call it a gain of eight yards. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. The 10. Touchdown, Ducks. And he hits the PAT. From the 25-yard line, it's first down. And he shoved out of bounds the 17-yard line. What impresses me so much is the guy's vision. He read the coverage perfectly to find his man for good yardage. He makes it to the 15-yard line. Call it a gain of two yards. That'll bring up third and inches. So it's third down, and they're just inches away from picking up the first down. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Touchdown. It's a nice touchdown, but they still need the extra point to tie it up. It's a lot of pressure on a kicker. You never know about the jitters. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. And he adds the extra point. Well, it's going to take another round at least. You can bet the coaches are going to look to be more aggressive on both sides of the ball. First and 10. Ball on the 25-yard line. Let's go! Green, idiot! The halfback with a carry. Tackle at about the 23-yard line. That makes it second and eight. This is a very well-coached defense. They know to get their hands up in the air and to try to knock down passes. Third down, and they need to get it to the 15. They bring him down. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. Don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better.
And the kicker comes out to try to put three points on the board here in overtime. It's up. You know, it's times like this that I wish the offense started from the 35 or 40 yard line in overtime. I think you should have to work your way into scoring position. The way it is now, you could just start to drive and you're already in field goal range. I just don't like that. He gets out to about the 11 yard line. He scrambled. He's tackled around the 11 yard line. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 11. him hard at the 12. That was just smash mouth, helmet to chin football by the defensive line there. They dominated the point of attack. I don't know if they'll be able to hear his cadence in the midst of all this mayhem. yard line this is it folks if this is good the game is over if he misses we've got another overtime Kicks up, and he's got it. What a fantastic ending. It's fitting that it came down to a single play. Both teams competed at a high level and laid it all out there. And the ball game's over. And our final score on this one, Oregon 30, USC 27. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Kirk Street, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.